Virtual reality is a way to step into entirely new worlds. You put something on and you are transported. You can go to an entirely new environment that's fully 360 and 3D all around you. And within that environment, you can explore, you're free, you can move around. It's unlike anything I've ever tried before. The industry, at least for consumer VR, really started with tethered devices. We had PC VR and mobile drop-in VR. On the PC side, that meant that consumers needed to be hooked up to a high-end computer in order to get into virtual reality. And on the mobile drop-in side, that meant that consumers needed one of the particularly available smartphones to get into virtual reality. What we're seeing now is the growth of the all-in-one category. With all-in-one, you don't need a phone and you don't need a PC. And starting last year, we saw a, a wide variety of all-in-one products coming to market. VR offers a broad set of entertainment options. On the one hand, we've got games. These are great immersive games that are really pushing physicality, movement, interaction in entirely new ways. They're pushing immersion in entirely new ways. And at the end of the day, they just have great gameplay. Then at the same time, we've also got great experiences that fall under more of the media landscape. Some of this is passive. For example, you can watch Netflix in VR on Oculus Go. Some of it's a little bit more interactive and pushing the boundaries of storytelling. One of the things that's been a challenge for the industry is the developer ecosystem. So getting more people into VR, hardware innovation, keeping price points affordable, and overall just focusing on building developer communities. I think this is something that the entire industry needs to take on in order for VR to be successful. There's just a lot that is going to change and happen with the way that we tell stories and build games as we really grow the platform and the developer community.